Hi friends, this is Maggie. So I did actually get um, the um, oil pastels from, I think I picked them up at Hobby Lobby. It was just $4.99. They're 28 colors. There is a um, an artist, his name is, it's from YouTube, he's great, he's awesome, I like his artwork. He does, he uses a lot of the oil pastels and his name is um, Black Bean. And um, if you wanna go check out his channel. But he uses this and he uses it all the time. He just loves it because of the quality of it, because of the, um, what is, you know, worth of, you know, is, He's not paid, he doesn't pay a lot of money for it, basically. So I went ahead and I bought it to play with that. And I wanted to just, guys, show you how the oil pastels, you've seen the other videos, um, they work. And um, I did go, um, I, I, this week actually I have been experimenting with oil um, paints. And it was actually my first time. And I created a 5 by 7 let me show you. So I created a 5x7 um, um, oil pastel painting and one of those flat um, canvases that are hard canvases. Um, and they, I, I think I'm also falling in love with the oils. Um, it has, for me, it has its pro and cons. Uh, it just takes forever. If you can see the shiny part of it, that means it's still wet. And I did this, I completed this yesterday morning. Um, it takes probably a good week for it to dry. Um, however, what I did enjoy a lot about the oil pastel was that um, it can just sit on your palette for hours and hours and you can come back and continue to use them and um, love that because you don't have to be fighting with inks that are getting dry right away like the acrylic inks um, it's just awesome in that sense and you can also blend um, the only thing is if you already have your your surfaces wet and you come back unless you apply I, I guess it's the best way is to start with thin to thick probably you know not to have some paint thick paint on um, and try to come in and add another color because it's just gonna become mud you know it's gonna mix however if you start thin and you know you're coming back to that area then just you know come and apply the other color um, sometimes people would recommend that not to just go more than two layers on it um but you can go more be if if your layers are dry obviously you can continue to go back on and add more but this was fun this was from a photo that i saw in pinterest and i just kind of copy it and just wanted to play with it and i think i'm loving it i'm gonna do a video um and obviously it'll i'll have to cut and and wait for things to dry or maybe you know continue to do what i did on this one i really didn't wait for it to dry i just kept coming back and adding more but this was fun and one of the things if you do the comparison when you're looking at your image other than you know this will last longer or if you get good oil pastels this will not fade the colors will not fade um is that um when you look at it and you compare it to an acrylic painting, you can see the quality is, is much better and it's just much rich, the color. I mean, it's my opinion. And when I was working on it, I was like, wow, this is awesome. And this was just throwing stuff. I didn't, this was just kind of a um, quick put it together and um, and just learning how to play with it. I, the more I start working on it, the more I will learn the techniques and get better at it so anyway what I want to do for this um, video today is I bought this um, box of matches these are the, the large matches and I, I, I love candles so I always have candles around the house and I love to use the matches for them and so I bought this in an antique store it was really no I'm sorry it wasn't even an antique store it was actually a um, a art um, 
uh, village, a place here in, in, in a place in Florida. I believe it was in Sanford, Florida. And I visited this uh, place where they have probably about 15 different artists. You have abstract, realism, paintings, watercolor, acrylics. And <clears throat> so they all have different styles. And I purchased a, a little, uh, just to, you know, help one of the artists. I purchased one of their paintings, a, a small painting. Um, he did watercolor inks or uses the ink and then comes back with a wash of watercolor. Really pretty. It was an airplane. I bought that. And then I was paying for it. They had this at the cashier. And it was a bag. It's because I love matches. And it had this box. And I thought it was real cute. So what I wanted to do is I want to create. I want to draw her. Minus the hair. I don't want to do the hair. But the face. And a little bit of. Maybe up to here probably. And then in one of my old, old um, paintings. I had done this. Um, this was watercolor. Done this painting. And I love what I did with the um, with the hair so I kind of use little I don't know if you guys can see it but I use like little st stamps to here and there and then did a lot of the watercolor and then use different colors and just love that and I want to kind of do her with that face and so I'm just gonna play with that and all of that I'm gonna try to use the oil pastels now I believe um, I do have another type of um, creamy crayons. It's called uh, water soluble crayon that I'll be able to put it on a stamp and just kind of stamp the hair there and here and there, not too much over the oil. I, I'm thick. I could do that, but let me go ahead and play with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.